All right, today we're going to show you a little bit about how to plant root vegetables biodynamically. We are at Five Elements Organic Bastion in Panauti, Nepal. If you look around, you see there's taras, there's terraces, terrace farming as high as the eye can see all throughout Nepal. Here we've got some quarry work going on down below. You can hear the noise. That's the town of Panauti in the distance. We have our own terrace that we plant with here. It's a bit dark. It's a little late in the day. The clouds are overhead. But what I want to show you is a little bit of the Ladakhi method uh, being done in Nepal. Go to them here. We're just going to broadcast this sort of carelessly within the, each cell and then just kind of... Uh, Work the, the, the ground around the seeds, pat it down, and give it an initial watering. Next time we come back and we go ahead and we flood the cell. So that's our setup. Move over here. You see a, a, a veritable smorgasbord of the best for a farm. This is a giant pile, a little dark, giant pile of uh, cow manure and... Uh, all kinds of stocky matter, cellulose fiber, a perfect little compost mix. And uh, we have one of the local ladies coming through. And just below here, you see we have all kinds of exotic kind of weeds growing throughout Nepal as well. Here we've got mostly wheat growing. A lot of this has been pre-planted. There's brand new fruit trees all over the place. And while I'm babbling, Jorge's busy making the first cell. I'm going to go ahead and straddle this. He's forming the berms. And then, of course, the, the end uh, where my shoe is, the end of the uh, terrace is going to be the last berm. Our next step, we can chop the soil up a little bit. But we're going to take some uh, compost from this, this huge pile here, throw it in. Now normally this is an ascending moon, March 31st, 19, two, two, <laughs> 2017. And normally we want to uh, do all of our earthwork like that during descending moon, but we're in kind of a time pinch. So if we want to get our root seeds in today, we're going to have to do it all right now. It's a little rough on the subsoil, uh, not being the right time for all this roughage going on. Uh, microbiologic friends that are all going to amass in there and create megapolis and uh, the mycelium going through and uniting it all. Uh, we ran out of light last night, but uh, the saving grace is that today is April 1st, 2017. If you have your Indian biodynamic calendar, you can follow and see that that is also a root day. It's clear, no negatives. And uh, so what we see uh, Jorge doing here, Jorge from España, we have the beautiful Ele from Italia, and what they're doing is uh, they had watered the cells to just uh, sort of settle the nutrients, settle the, the soil in the, in the cell body. Now they're chopping it up to make it nice and pliable to, uh, to throw seeds. We're just going to kind of mess up the soil afterwards and then uh, pack it back down do a little bit more more watering and Bob's your uncle we have a cell planted with a, a variety of root seeds and it's going to be planted very intensively uh, all of those seeds are going to go into these three small cells here and you see them planted and we have a, a peach tree right in the middle that is uh, done almost by the Seth Holger method of, uh, of this hillage and several layers uh, to where that the roots of that is going to be very happy as it as it develops and then we're just uh, we're going to water it but we're going to basically ignore that tree and just let that tree survive on its own that's the best thing you can do with trees so a little tree lore there mixed in in the middle of all this now you see uh, Jorge has, has chopped up this this ground let's go ahead and uh, take those seeds just take a just take a casual handful and just scatter them throughout. You see, he's just chucking them in there like that. 
and uh, like I said before, there's every kind of uh, different variety, but they're all compatibles. And then LA is going to take hers, and she's going to go ahead and scatter those into uh, another of the cells. Now this is a very narrow terras, and so we don't have room for the canal, which normally would be in the Ladakhi method, where the water will go along one channel, and then uh, eventually we could have rock gates and just feed each cell like this. So we're going to have to, we have a hose here, the Angera. We're going to bring the hose down uh, at watering times after all the seeds have been dumped in. Now, if you don't have that many seeds, don't worry. We are over planting on purpose. We have a, a lot of seeds from different countries and uh, these seeds here are mostly all organic. Um, the, the philosophy we're using, because we've been gifted with seeds from all over the world, the philosophy we're using is that even if the seeds are not organic, we're going to produce them organically. Some of the seeds are from Ladakh, and I'm going to see how they, they work in Nepal. So right now, we're going to go ahead and just mix around the seeds uh, with, the, with the surface. It is going to be able to carry the water and spread it in evenly in each of these cells. And that's the point of the, the cell farming, is that the water stays in, uh, the water spreads evenly, it goes down. Instead of running on like a row farm and then just carrying all the nutrients and all this uh, beautiful gifts you're, you're intending to give the plants and it ends up maybe down at the end of the row or out of the farm. So again, the, the, cell, the cell farming, it's, we just give it enough water to, to slightly flood on a normal basis. It goes down and then as cells connect along in a row like this underneath the subsoil we're going to have this homogeneously watered community of all roots that can communicate with each other they'll have a wonderful childhood because they have community seeds on, and to talk to and to grow up with and exchange nutrients with and it might seem impossible that uh, plants can have this kind of a social life but I believe that they are very very much like the rest of us uh, living beings uh, just they have roots, but they have social lives and uh, They definitely have feelings. We have proven that they can tell when the kind person shows up on the farm They relax and they actually enjoy the presence uh, When somebody comes in who's disruptive and steps on the farm and whatnot they 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 act in a, a sheer terror not unlike ourselves um, in the case of an earthquake or in the case of uh, an invasion or something. So we provide them a peaceful existence and it's a very heavy clay but underneath uh, if you watched the previous part we have all of this uh, cow shit and uh, cellulose that is coming from this massive pile pr produced by about 12 cows here at 5 EOB and actually I'm just kind of telling this to, to LA and Jorge as we go. Um, this is how simple it is. As I tell them what they're doing, uh, they can just easily do it. And this is how quickly it, it happens. If you're in a kind of a rush and you don't have time, you gotta go to the job, uh, a cell can be created. It should be done during descending moon, but we just did it all of a sudden last afternoon before the last light to form these. Today we come back, we throw the seeds in and Bob's your uncle. We have us a small little farm starting out. So that's it from Simple Life for now. Stay tuned for more uh, updates as we go along. And we're going to get into many aspects of the farming. And you're going to see, uh, for example, uh, another installment uh, for flowers and herbs.